Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of MSW Weekly Update. I'm your host, the MSW World Heavyweight Champion and the owner of MSW, The Clinic. Well, as you can see, I don't have the MSW World Heavyweight Championship belt with me, and last week I covered why. But I will be taking my belt back this Sunday at MSW End of School Bash 2010, Tradition Victorious. And we have a great card uh, set up. We do have some changes to the card as uh, a few of the scheduled individuals will not be there. Jet and Lil Ace have actually quit the GWA entirely uh, for personal disagreements with uh, GWA management. Um, I won't go into those too much, but also a few other individuals, uh, for reasons beyond their control, will not be able to make it. Caleb Starr, Eternal Darkness, and Nate Dog will all be unable to make it to the end of school bash. But don't worry because we still have a huge card for you this Sunday. First up, we do have BK going one on one with the criminal. And the winner of that match will receive a shot at the MSW World Television Championship held by Ozzy Lyons later that day. Both BK and the criminal have wrestled Ozzy Lyons in recent months, and both of them have lost to Ozzy, so they want to get revenge. Both of these men want to become MSW World Television Champion. For the criminal, it would be the first title in his career. For BK, he would be the first two-time holder of that title. But nonetheless, both men want to get the win in that number one contenders match and go on to finally get their victory over Ozzy Lyons. And with Ozzy Lyons' track record lately, getting a victory over him would be a huge deal. But remember, too, that 15-minute time limit for MSW World Television Championship matches. So we'll see what happens in these two big matches as BK and the Criminal compete to try to take down Ozzy Lines and become the new MSW World Television Champion. While Ozzy Lines, of course, he's looking to keep the belt and keep on his uh, his streak of wins. And we also have a big match for the MSW World Tag Team Championship as Lawrence Alfred and Ozzy Lyons will make another defense. This time they will be defending against Derek Knight and the Criminal. An interesting team. This would be the first time that these two have teamed. Uh, and interestingly enough, all four of these individuals in this tag team match are basically together in one in Lawrence's big group. So it's going to be a very friendly battle. But don't think that the, that any, that these teams are going to hold back. Anyone that knows, uh, Lawrence knows that he'll never hold back in a match, even if it's against some of his closest friends and family. Uh, certainly, Ozzy Lyons is always intense. Derek Knight always brings it. And, of course, the criminal, well, he's looking to make his mark in MSW. So we have that big tag team match, Lawrence Alfred and Ozzy Lyons defending the MSW World Tag Team Championship against Derek Knight and the criminal. And, of course, we also have another big title match as I, the clinic, will defend my MSW World Heavyweight Championship against Derek Knight. I do plan to get the belt back before this match so I can walk out to this match and then walk out victorious with my belt. Nonetheless, this is certainly not the first time that Derek Knight and I have gone one-on-one. -on -one. We've had many classic matches. Uh, we've gone back and forth in the wins. And really, it's just, it seems every time we keep coming together, we keep wrestling. Um, I don't know what it is exactly, but definitely Derek Knight, he's been chasing uh, various world titles this year. He's gotten a couple of shots in the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship, um, and he's got this shot against me. Can he do it? Well, he did uh, put on a good show in the championship matches so far. He's gotten a few victories over me. And I know everyone is looking to see me lose the MSW World Heavyweight Championship, but I'm not going down without a fight. And quite frankly, I am not planning on going down at all. So we'll see what Derek Knight has to bring to the table to counter me. And finally, the huge main event. This main event was originally scheduled as a three-way match, but Lil Ace's quitting has led to this being a one-on-one -on -one match as Lawrence Alfred will put the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship on the line 
against the kid in a rematch from last year's in the school bash, which was one of the greatest matches in backyard wrestling history and led to the kid's shocking win of the title over Lawrence. So this is really a, an interesting dynamic because the kid is actually undefeated at the end of school bash. Over the course of the past two years of the end of school bash, he has achieved a 6-0 and record, including that big victory over Lawrence for the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship last year. So it's really going to be an interesting situation this time because it looks like things are always on his side for the end of school bash. But on the other hand, Lawrence is always a dominant champion every time he has a belt. But then again, the kid was the one who took him down and won the title from Lawrence last year. So this is really an interesting dynamic. And you notice we're talking about Lawrence, not the law. He really is, is going back to that old style that he had before he became the law uh, at the beginning of MSW years ago. So the kid is almost going to be facing a different opponent than he did last year. So there are all sorts of factors going into this match that really make it uh, hard to predict. You can say you know, that one thing based on one thing and then something else comes up. So this is truly one of the most interesting matches there, you know, that we've seen in a long time. So this Sunday, MSW presents End of School Bash 2010, Tradition Victorious. So check out the End of School Bash this Sunday, and then here with all the results and analysis, we'll see you here next week on MSW Weekly Update.